Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan Kearney here, and welcome back to the Overwatch World Cup Roundup 2019 Team United Kingdom Preview. So bear with me on this one, as I might just be a bit biased. Team United Kingdom come into this World Cup as sixth seed, just missing out on one of those top five spots, which would have meant an automatic qualification into the final stages. Unfortunately for them, they have to go through the preliminaries if they want a chance at the trophy this year. Last year, the United Kingdom team made some big headlines at the World Cup, as they were the surprise package of the tournament. Although they qualified behind France at the European qualifiers in Paris, they really turned it up at Anaheim, taking down the United States in convincing fashion, and also taking the South Korean squad very close, earning two draws during the match before losing 2-0 to the eventual champions. The question is, can the UK play as well as they did last year? Now it's time to take a look at the organisation behind Team UK for this year's World Cup. It has not changed much compared to last year. Stylosa returns as general manager for the team. He is flanked by the community lead who is the only change this year. Out goes Chipsa and in comes Bad Pachimari. And the coach for the UK has not changed either with Hayes returning this year. In the past month, Hayes left his position as a coach at the Philadelphia Fusion which he had held since before the inaugural season of the Overwatch League. He has also had spells at E-United and Reunited and Choke Gaming. A very experienced coach and it is good to see the UK sticking with what worked so well last year. On to the players for Team UK then this year, and as always we will start with the supports. This year Team UK have elected to take three support players instead of two, but there is a unique reason for this. The first support player is Boombox, who you will probably have heard of as he is the longest serving British player in the Overwatch League. He has been playing for Philadelphia Fusion since the start of the inaugural season. He has really been a staple part of that Fusion team and offers the United Kingdom a great base when it comes to their supports. Next up we have Funny Astro, who may be the least well known of the UK supports. He is currently a two-way player for the Atlanta Reign and the ATL Academy. He has featured on the Overwatch League stage this year and did very well for the incredibly successful ATL Academy this year in Contenders. He is primarily a Lucio Spursulus though. Lastly we have Cruz who currently plays for the Paris Eternal and has featured in some way for the UK at every World Cup. The unique thing about Cruz is that he used to be a DPS player and so can fill that role if the team needed him to. A highlight always used to be the Cruz Genji pick. In recent times though he has put the DPS down to concentrate on support and this is how he made his way into the Overwatch League. A very experienced support line will be invaluable for Team UK this year. Next up are the tanks for Team UK, and again, not much has changed since last year. The main tank for the UK will be Fusions, who found his way into the Overwatch League this year after his great performances at the World Cup last year, and currently plays for the Boston Uprising. He will be alongside the off-tank Smex, who is the first player we are looking at for the UK who has not had time or experience of the Overwatch League. Smex has been around the pro Overwatch team for a long time, currently playing for Montreal Rebellion, the academy team of the Toronto Defiant in Contenders. He has also had spells at NRG Esports and the Thonkers. He has featured at the previous two World Cups for Team UK. Now it's time to take a look at the DPS for Team UK. We have already spoken about the flexibility of crews, but the UK will take two DPS players to this World Cup instead of the three from last year. The first of these is Kib who since his great performance at the World Cup last year found himself in the Overwatch League initially for Grand Show Charge, but then moving on to the Philadelphia Fusion, where he did not feature that much, and has now left the team. The second DPS for Team UK is KSP, who has been looking very good in contenders recently, initially for Samsung Morning Stars, Young and Beautiful and Bazooka Puppies in Europe, and now for the XL2 Academy team, owned by New York Excelsior in America. KSP will be more of a hitscan specialist for Team UK at this World Cup, and Kib will gravitate more towards the projectile heroes. So, Team UK have a very experienced roster going into the World Cup this year, and if they can do better than they did last year, they are looking at coming away with a medal, after finishing fourth last year behind Canada, China, and South Korea. The question is, can Team UK replicate what they did last year? I don't fully know. I mean... Of course, they're going to win it all. Obvious gold medalist. No, but seriously. This looks like a very good roster, but I am not sure it can compete with the likes of South Korea, Canada, China, and the United States, despite their shock win over the US last year. 
They did also struggle last year during the qualifiers against Team France, so I still have a lot of questions regarding Team UK, but they certainly could pull off some big upsets if last year was anything to go by. They'll always be a good laugh though. But that will be it for our look at Team UK and round us off for the teams ranked in the top 10 in the preliminaries. Next we will look at some honourable mentions in the preliminary phase, some teams that we haven't looked at and are not in the top 10 but could shock some of the ranked teams. After that we will move on to the top 5 teams who have gained automatic qualification to the later stages of the competition this year. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you liked it give it a like, subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video. See you then!